farming giant clams and other coral reef species is a good way to guarantee sustainable use of these valuable marine resources. In the next few minutes, we'll put on scuba gear and look at the MMDC Ocean Nursery. Once the baby clams reach an age of 8 to 12 months, it's best to plant them in an ocean nursery. The water doesn't have to be deep, but it must be in a location that's sheltered from waves and storms. Just as in the hatchery, clean water is essential. A temperature range of 20 to 30 degrees centigrade and a salinity of 32 to 35 parts per thousand is recommended. For the ocean nursery phase, strong cages are required to protect the baby clams from fish, crabs, stingrays, and octopus, which might otherwise eat them very quickly. The best clam cages are simple boxes made from plastic coated wire mesh. The mesh lets in the sunlight and keeps the predators out. A good wire cage will last for about five years in the ocean. During the ocean nursery phase, it's necessary to check the farm at least twice a week. The main requirement is to scrub the cages to remove algae, which blocks the sunlight and restricts water flow. Just as with any kind of farming, diligence and hard work pay off. The techniques are simple, but it's definitely not the lazy man's way to riches. In addition to scrubbing the cages, the farmer looks for predators, especially the tiny white snail called Cymacium murocinum. If not controlled, these snails can do considerable damage. Every six months or so, the clams need to be transplanted and given more room to grow. After about three to four years, the clams can survive outside the cages. This final step is called the grow-out phase. The grow-out phase is the easiest part of giant clam farming. The main consideration in the grow-out phase is security, protecting the clams until you're ready to harvest them. After watching this video, you might decide that you'd like to learn more about giant clam farming. The MMDC offers a popular training course for giant clam farmers. Already, more than 50 people from all over the Pacific have completed the program, which includes a complete scuba diver certification course. You might even be able to get a full scholarship to attend the MMDC training. So far, many agencies have sponsored students. These include the Pacific Fisheries Development Foundation, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and the International Center for Ocean Development, based in Canada. When the trainees graduate, the MMDC sends them a thousand baby clams and 40 nursery cages so that they can apply their new knowledge immediately. From the island of American Samoa, Mr. Pio Gaisoa, a recent course graduate, comments on his training at the MMDC. The training here in Palau, I learned so many things here from the uh, hatchery, but uh, the most important thing that I learned is how to spawn uh, giant clam. And uh, after the training, I'm going to take in uh, 1,500 uh, seeds of uh, clam to American Samoa and plant it in American Samoa. And I hope in the future I will uh, build my uh, hatchery and uh, spawning some more uh, Faisua or clam in American Samoa. Now let's join the MMDC staff as they prepare 1,500 baby clams for export to American Samoa.
to go into American Samoa. The clams are packed and ready to go. In a short time, they'll be living on the reef in American Samoa, contributing to the development of a new marine industry. For the Pacific Fisheries Development Foundation, I'm Jerry Hesslinger, and thanks for joining us today.